Hello my fellow Christian fiction lovers, welcome to another video. Today I am going to be doing just a short little list of authors that I will buy from like instantly when I see that they are putting out a new book. I haven't done a video specifically dedicated to like my favorite authors in um, a long time. So and like really basically before I started getting chill in front of the camera. I have a video coming up that I'm going to film where I talk about how I got into Christian booktube and like sharing some of my story because I know there's a lot of new people here and obviously I don't expect nor do I want you to go back and watch all my old videos to learn about me. So anyway, that's a little free advertisement for a video coming in the next couple of weeks. Let's get into this video. So the first author that I have all of her books, I will buy every, I would buy her shopping list, this is how much I love her, is Connell and Cosette. No surprise there. Um, I absolutely adore her books. Connell and Cosette writes biblical fiction. So far she's only written in the Old Testament, the Out of Egypt series, which is a trilogy, Cities of Refuge, there's four books in that, and the Covenant House duology, I believe. And all of those books are f like going chronologically in the Old Testament and I highly recommend reading them all in order of publication because she leaves little Easter eggs from her other books in her newer books. And her writing is so eloquent and so beautiful and just absolutely breathtaking and it just paints the Bible, this book, like these stories and narratives that I feel like can seem very impersonal and very distant, not related to our lives whatsoever. She takes them and puts them in like modern words and modern feelings, modern like emotions that have been experienced throughout time and just makes them so relatable. Like the characters, I just relate to them and I feel their pain, I feel their struggles, even though like the lives they live are nothing like mine. So. I will never ever shut up about her. Never. <laughs> I just love her books so much. Next, I have only read two of her books, but if she comes out with more, I will 100% buy them because both have made me feel very strong emotions. And that is T.I. Lowe. I actually have both of them here. Lulu's Cafe, I believe, is the first book that she wrote and it is so beautiful and just such a sweet story. But you look at the cover, you think, oh, it's sweet. It is so more than just a sweet little love story. It deals with abuse, it deals with trauma, recovering from trauma, like look up some trigger warnings before you read this book. Same for Under the Magnolias. I will read anything she puts out because she has not failed to make me cry both times, like both of the books I've read from her and make me feel very seen and heard in the characters and feelings she writes. So, and they're good stories. Like they're just really decent, solid stories. And I've, I loved both of them. So I am very heavily inclined to read anything she puts out next. The next author that I will buy like anything from is Melanie Dobson. I absolutely love her works. She has written mostly World War II time split novels. I have her most recent somewhere around here. It's tucked into a pile, I'm not gonna dig it out. But I really, really love her books. She, one of her books, um, what was it called? Hidden Among the Stars is one of the books that kind of got me into reading Christian fiction and her stories have gotten better and better. Like with each book, new book she's put out that I have gotten and read I thought this is her best book yet and then she puts out a new one and I'm like no this is the best one yet and The Winter Rose truly truly is one of the best books she's ever written and all of her books are great so The Winter Rose is like new as of January I believe so I'm not expecting anything soon maybe by the end of the year but I will pre-order it no matter what it is. Like, she could go out in left field and write a contemporary novel and I'd still buy it. <laughs> okay, another author that I will buy instantly is Francine Rivers. I didn't used to think this way because some her books are either like 
a really good hit for me or a miss. Like, I either really like them or I really don't like them. I'm currently reading The Lady's Mind, which is her most recently, re most recent release, and I am enjoying it. It's very different than her other novels. I have a read reading vlog coming out for that one sometime. I just think because of how, like, how impactful she was in getting me to read books about God with faith in them in fiction and like really getting me to enjoy Christian fiction. I will buy any books that she writes. I, I really like Francine Rivers as an author. She writes really dynamic characters and really powerful stories. It's only a couple of her books that I really didn't like. Most of them I really do like and I have a whole video on that that I put out a while ago if you want to see more of my in-depth thoughts on that one. Okay, and then finally, uh, the last author that I will buy any book from is Genevieve Graham. She is not a Christian fiction author. She writes World War II somewhat time slip, not really, novels. Her writing is the only writing that I have found, like, outside of Christian fiction that is, like, clean enough for me to, like, be okay with reading it, like pre-ordering it. Um, I think I read um, The Forgotten Home Child and Letters from Across the Sea, which are her most recent two, I believe. And I think both of them had like some minor swearing in it. But to me, like light swearing is a lot better than like sex scenes. <laughs> I like don't read books with that at all. So she's just a clean and safe author, I guess, that still writes really powerful stories that I can resonate with and that don't disagree with my beliefs and convictions. So I highly recommend checking her out if you want to venture away from the Christian fiction world. I've read some other authors, like modern authors that are not Christian, and it's really not a good idea, especially adult books. It's just not a good idea. There's just too, many, too much stuff put in it. But that's a whole other video that I'm thinking about doing. This video is long enough. Uh, thank you so much for watching it. And if you have any authors that you will just instantly buy from, drop them in the comments. I would love to find some new authors. Obviously, this does not cover every single author I've read. Absolutely not. Um, I've read so many, but these are the authors that I would like the second I find out they're releasing a book, I pre-order it. That's how much I love them and I love their writing styles. And I'm finding more of these authors every day, which isn't healthy for my bank account. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video, whatever that is. Until then, bye.